Hello YouTube, Wes here checking in with a vinyl inbox video. This video is going to be about the items I found at the Friends of the Library book sale on Monday. So the third day of the sale, uh, the pickings had sort of slimmed down, but they also the shoppers had slimmed down as well. So you're able to sort of take your time in the bins and sort of go through things and look at things more closely. And I picked up a few more items. So I wanted to share these in a second video since I didn't want the, the whole entire video to run too long. Um, hopefully by now you have seen my pickups from the first day of the sale. Uh, if you haven't, I'll go back and check those out. There should be a few videos back. Uh, so let's go ahead and get into these finds from Monday. First thing I got here is an album by Harry Belafonte. This is Calypso Carnival. Uh, Harry Belafonte I did not have. This is from 1971. Uh, so getting sort of into the later period, the not so good period from Harry Belafonte, but I'm kind of a completist, at least to hear them. So I grabbed that one. Uh, that one's $1.25. I paid for that one. Next thing I bought here, sort of a blind buy, just based on the interesting cover. Uh, this is Laserium Presents Crystal Odyssey, a classical fantasy. So this was sort of a touring laser light show that took place in the, it was in the late 70s or early 80s. 1981 is the date on this one so uh, they mix sort of classical music with laser light shows and they had some synthesizer work on some of the classical pieces as well so just kind of a trippy spacey kind of you know futuristic thing to go see in the 80s or late 70s early 80s uh, just kind of interesting I thought this would be neat to sort of just research and learn about and, and listen to it once and I think it was uh 75 cents was the price on that, so I grabbed that. Next up, got an album by the Brotherhood of Man. This is titled United We Stand. Uh, it's on the Duram Records label. Uh, just a 60s pop group here. Uh, not, It looks kind of psychedelic on the cover, but it's not really psychedelic. It's just, it's just 60s sort of fun pop kind of stuff. Uh, but it was nice and clean and I just, I thought I'd like to hear it, so I picked it up. That was $1.25. Um, this next one was a quarter. I don't know why it was a quarter. It's in pretty good condition. It is a rotary connection um, on the Cadet Concept label. I believe the, uh, the title of this one is Aladdin. Uh, comes in this Unipack here. Uh, there's the Cadet Concept label. So that was a nice find for a quarter. Um, a lot of times the prices are kind of all over the place at this library sale. Just, it depends on who's doing the pricing and how much they know. Sometimes the prices are kind of high for certain things and sometimes they're really low for certain things. You just never know. Sometimes you'll see the same record priced three or four different ways. It could be 50 cents and $3 and 2.50. And you know, it's kind of weird how the pricing goes. I think there's probably a couple different people pricing records and they always don't agree on the prices, I guess. Um, picked up a Deutsche Grammophon. This is a Stockhausen Electronic Music. I think this one was a dollar. Uh, does have some writing on the cover, but being since this is a glossy cover, I'll be able to get that off very easily with a dry erase marker. Come right off. Um, just some very early sort of electronic kind of music that's more of just sort of using tape manipulation kind of things early sort of BBC radiophonic workshop kind of stuff I think I think that's what this is going to be like uh, but yeah Deutsche Grammophone and uh, sort of experimental kind of music it should be good got a children's record by Pete Seeger this is Pete Seeger children's concert at Town Hall um, 1982 on Columbia Special Products. This is a Canadian pressing. Ruby Records. Uh, yeah, just nice Pete Seeger pickup. That was a dollar as well. Uh, another one that was a quarter that I just picked up just to hear, kind of a, a folk rock kind of thing from the 70s or, or early 70s, late 60s, I think. Uh, 1970 is the date on this one. Uh, C Train, self titled. Nice gatefold with photos and liner and uh, liner notes and lyrics on it. 
yeah, just sort of that early 70s sort of folk rock kind of thing. Uh, next one is an album by Mick Fleetwood titled The Visitor. Uh, 1981 is the date on this one. Paid $250 for it. Uh, it's got some African sort of choruses and stuff in here. So maybe along the lines of uh, Paul Simon Graceland kind of thing. I don't know exactly. Uh, there was kind of a big push into world music in the early 80s. So. Uh, got an album on my that was on my wish list from Spirit. This is Spirit of '84. Paid three dollars for this one. Uh, it's a little bit higher price, but still a very reasonable price, and knocked one off my wish list. So glad to have that one. This is a later one from 1984. Being Spirit of '84, it's 1984 by Spirit. Uh, yeah, there's Randy California. Uh, next up, added one more to my Christmas collection. This is Odetta on Vanguard Records, Christmas Spirituals. Uh, so this should be pretty, uh, pretty good, nice, very nice, pleasant sort of calming, soothing Christmas kind of music. And dollar uh, fifty, as I said, on the Vanguard Record label. Uh, glad to have picked that one up. And that is going to do it for my. Uh, a uh, haul from the library sale this year. That was my second day finds from Monday. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Leave me some comments. And uh, we'll see you again next time. Cheers.